guys and welcome to another video on DJ Vlogs. So today I'm going to be talking about how you can create playlists on YouTube. Now I've had a, quite a few people asking me about how you can do this because uh, as you know I have a lot of playlists on YouTube but actually also help you get views. I mentioned that in a couple of videos ago uh, that actually having playlists on the more plays you have actually can get you quite a bit of views. Uh, so since then I've had a couple of people message me and say you know how can you actually create the playlist. So in this video I'm going to be going over how you can create playlists on YouTube. Let's get into it. Now, creating playlists on YouTube is really, really simple. And I think a lot of people think, oh, well, there's no option, you know, it's not really, doesn't stand out. Or, yeah, how do you actually create these playlists? Now, there are actually a number of different ways you can actually do this. Uh, the easiest way, and I've, this is the easiest, I've picked up the easiest way that I personally think. Uh, like I said, there are loads of different ways. If you find a way that you think is a bit easier, then you can go with that. But personally, I find the, e the easiest way to do it is find whatever video you've got. So I don't know, maybe, you know, your newest video, you want to add that video to a playlist. So you find that playlist. Video, just to the side of that video should be three little dots and a little box should pop up where you can delete that video uh, and you'll get uh, options to save to watch later uh, you'll get loads of different options that will pop up one of which should be save to playlist you want to click on that all right if you've already created the playlist and there like I said if you found another way and you've already created it select it and then you're done but if you haven't created the playlist and you want to do that then uh, just at the top should be a little uh, button that says plus new playlist you want to click on that uh, and then will take you to a little page as to where you can actually add the title and also change it from whether it, the, you want the public to be private public or unlisted uh, so unlisted is like you give the link to that playlist to somebody and they can see it um, if it's private nobody can see it other than you and if it's public anyone can see it so obviously you want to select you can put your title in whatever you decided the title is uh, and you also obviously want to you know change it if it's on public and you don't want it on public you can change it to unlisted or private if it's on private and you don't want to put it on public or unlisted it is up to you as to whatever you have it on as soon as you've done all of that then there should be a little uh, i believe it's create it will either say create playlist or save playlist you want to click on that uh, and it should pretty much go through and it should be all done but something i'd recommend checking is going to the playlist section on your channel to make sure the playlist is there because I've had a lot of people saying that oh they don't know how you do it and when they've done it they realize oh it doesn't work it's not actually working you, if that again if that happens I just recommend restarting the entire process if it's all gone through and that then it's all cool but something I would recommend is and I think a lot of people say this the more videos that are in a playlist the better because say someone who clicks finds this playlist of yours and it's got one or two videos in it more than likely they're gonna click on this playlist they'll see one of the videos think oh this is quite good and they'll see another one of it oh this one's quite good as well and then another video Video that might not be of yours could pop up in the recommender section it could take them out like elsewhere on YouTube meaning that another content creator gets a view whereas you're losing a view because they could be watching your video instead of this other person's video so what I'd recommend is putting as many videos as you can in this playlist don't fill it up with those like 400 or 500 videos so people just sit there uh, you know you want to have about I'd say 10 to 15 videos in a playlist is good but something else to remember is make sure that all these videos in this playlist have a, some sort of similarity whether you're doing a playlist of all about YouTube growth or another playlist about your vlogs where you, when, you, you know, when you've vlogged uh, you know whatever playlist make sure it's got a theme don't just have oh this is a random playlist uh, you can if you want to do that you can do that because some people might if they really just generally like your content not doesn't really matter what type of content they like that you make it can be any content that you make that they like then nine times out of ten they're going to watch anything but i would recommend having a theme over these playlists so maybe you like i said you might have a playlist on vlogs and then you might have a playlist on i don't know gaming videos and then you have youtube growth for playlist i would however recommend that you create quite a few i wouldn't recommend just creating one or two i'd recommend Personally, I've worked out that actually the more plays you have, the higher chance you've got of your playlist and your videos popping up in other people's recommended sections. So if somebody watches somebody else's video, then there's a higher chance, if you've got a lot of videos and a lot of playlists, there's a higher chance for you to pop up in their recommended. So obviously, meaning that somebody could watch somebody else's video and then your videos start coming up in the recommended section, meaning that they can come over to your channel and start seeing all of these videos. If you've got playlists, they can binge watch all of your content. They can sit there for ages and that's getting you loads of views if they enjoy it they might even subscribe uh, and they might even tell their friends meaning that you can get some subscribers from this and also a lot of views so this is a really really good hack i'd recommend using anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have be sure to give it a massive thumbs up subscribe down below turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time i release a new video also make sure you go follow my instagram twitter and snapchat it'll be just to the side right there 
or it will be to the side right there and links to all of my social medias will be in the description down below make sure you go follow me up on all of those and guys i'll see you for another video very soon peace out